Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the current energies for you in love. What do you need to know about what's going on or what could be headed your way? Also, we're going to look at the person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with and a peek at what can you expect in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just keep that in mind. And let's jump right into your reading for Leo Spirit and Jessica. What guidance, what messages, what insight do you have for Leo regarding love? What do we need to know for Leo regarding love, Spirit? What do we need to know about the current energies for Leo in love? Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, Ace of, of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so some sort of a departure, a message, a conversation with the Ace of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles is all about give and take. Giving something, getting something in return. And there's a balance effect that happens with that. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. Interesting. Let's get some insight into these energies. I think there's an important conversation that will be taking place here for you, Leo, or someone approaching you with the Ace of Swords. Um, maybe there's going to be a truth that's revealed or talked about here. Um, but I think there's also this energy of a departure. So I don't know if someone is coming back or if someone is considering leaving a situation. Can I get some insight for Leo on the energies regarding love at this time, Spirit? What are the energies regarding love? Unhealthy attachment? What are the energies regarding love for Leo? Hidden feelings? Oh yeah, the, something definitely needs to be talked about here. And pure seduction, you're being tempted to give in to your desires. Um, okay, so when I see all of these together, I think there's something that you're not aware of with hidden feelings. Um, but there's also like an unhealthy dynamic here that is almost like um, either influencing someone, hiding how they feel, or there's... I don't know. I, I think this is an existing attachment, but we'll see. Um, an existing attachment that is causing difficulty right now for you. Um, this could be, and oh, yeah, I'm trying to keep things general because this is a general reading, but you know, this could be the person that you're dealing with, Leo, that has unhealthy habits, toxic, toxic energy, or unhealthy codependency. Um, or this could be the way your connection is right now, or this could even be your energy. So keep that in mind that the energies can be fluid here because this is what's happening for you generally in love. So your energies are here as well as anybody else that you're dealing with. Um, I feel like someone's suppressing or ignoring what they truly want or desire. So I can't wait to kind of clarify and get some insight here. Bottom of the deck, judgment call. Someone is making a decision using logic and reason. Hmm. Can we get some clarity for Leo? Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Let's start there. What's this Eight of Cups about for Leo? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo energy. So someone could have retreated, walked away, um, ghosted. Somebody could have just been scared off i'm getting i don't know why they would be scared tell me about the eight of cups five of cups oh yeah there's regrets here sadness disappointment because of this departure or you know someone's just kind of licking their wounds here i'm getting um this is not going to be for everyone but i'm there's a leo out there where it's like this person was thrown out or told to leave tell me about the eight of cups what else do we need to know, Spare about this Eight of Cups? Eight of Swords, fear, feelings of entrapment, someone feeling like there's no way out of their situation. 
overthinking and then we have the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy so you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio or a virgo it does not have to be but the king of cups here with the eight of swords i'm getting that there's an emotional upheaval like there's an um, emotional issues that someone might be having because of this departure or it's almost like their emotions are playing with their mind a little bit here again this could be you or your person someone's having difficulty because of this departure um they could be regretting their departure as well tell me about this ace of swords this could also be just clarity someone has the truth someone has information that helps them make a decision or liberates them this could also be a conversation so let's see what we get tell me about this ace of swords queen of swords oh yeah this is definitely like open honest communication tell me about the ace of swords why is the ace of swords here four of cups hmm. death scorpio energy can I get one more about this Ace of Swords? I feel like someone wants to talk about things that ended or an ending that happened or is happening. Three of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone is going to want to talk about this. The Star, Aquarius energy at the bottom of the deck. So this could be somebody wanting to heal this. And then we have the world after that. Maybe they want to um, heal something that's been broken um, and they're just waiting and taking their time to have this new cycle with you or to start over with you but i feel with the four of cups it's like someone's not really interested or is a bit checked out and if you're not checked out leo this person thinks you are or vice versa but with the queen of swords ace of swords this is like almost like a confrontation or like a confession or you know it's, it's a serious talk and it's a talk that i'm, I'm sensing like i'm picturing someone taking off their clothes so it's almost like maybe they're becoming vulnerable opening up in a, in a different way i'm not getting like sexual and energy from that so you know get your head out of the gutter i'm just kidding but i don't i think it's someone kind of like you know these hidden feelings are being revealed in some way tell me about the six of pentacles why is the six of pentacles here five of pentacles oh yeah i feel like someone wants to balance things out three of pentacles work on things collaborate work together tell me about the six of pentacles here for leo five of swords oh my gosh yes someone definitely wants to address the elephant in the room is what i'm hearing or like address the conflict bottom of the deck the magician yeah they have a goal in mind to address Whatever difficulty this is, whatever conflict or drama this is, but I, I'm getting um, this energy of it's not simple. It's very like I'm picturing a spider's web right now. Maybe there's a lot of like you know different entanglements, attachments, different you know. There's a complexity here. Can I get more info? Info? Oh my god, I was gonna say something else. Can I get some insight? I was trying to say insight, and I'm like inform, inform me, spirit. Can I get some insight into this energy between Leo and this other person? Can I get some insight, please, for Leo? Judication. Someone's waiting to make a decision, and then there's imprisonment. And I feel like the other person's at their mercy. Like, let me out of here. Um, I think there's someone's trying to reach out from outside or from a trapped uh, and, uh, situation. someone okay i'm getting this energy of someone that's very far from you leo and i don't know if there's like physical distance between you but th they can't reach you they can't access you they're at your mercy so they're at like if this if you block them for example they can't contact you until you unblock them get some insight please into this situation some insight I, I you know with pure seduction and unhealthy attachment it's like someone doesn't really have a handle on their emotions here getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens exactly someone's revealing themselves to you here i feel like this person might have made mistakes in the past but i don't know if it was that they hurt you specifically like i'm not getting that very strongly maybe you were together at some point 
and this person is screwed up because that energy just keeps coming up for Leos. But in this instance, what I'm getting is more that this person has done like it's like self-inflicted wounds so they've hurt themselves through their own actions not necessarily were setting out to hurt another person what else do we need to know for leo this one finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now and then we have calling in your soulmate at the bottom of the deck this could be um someone that shows up in in your life but i have a feeling that there's already a history here because of that eight of cups it's like someone has walked away or walked away from you or maybe you walked away from a specific person and it's opened up a new door for you but with the five of swords five of pentacles five of cups you know i feel like there's already an existing conflict so that's why i'm trying to figure out who this might be um, for some of you, this is an ex. For others of you, this is a current partner. But I think a small number of you, you weren't really truly a committed, con like a, you weren't committed to this person. Maybe this was a friends with benefits situation or someone very casually, someone that you we were casually dating. Sorry, I just can't talk right now. I don't know what's going on. So let's get some insight into this person that you m might be dealing with here. Spirit, tell us more about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. Can we get some insight, please, for Leo? Can we get some insight, please, for Leo? I made a mistake. Okay, so I feel like this might be the same person that keeps coming up for you, Leo. And I'm not giving up. Okay. All right. I feel that this is someone that made a mistake with you or made a mistake in their life that has affected how they deal with love and somehow that involves you. I don't know what's going on with Leo's, but I feel like this is someone that's like following you around. Oh, I want to fix this. I see forever with you. Oh, yeah. They're very um, focused, this person. So I think now it's becoming more clear that this could be someone from your past. Now, I still get that energy that maybe you weren't together together, but okay. So let's get some insight into their energies. I'm going to use a different deck here. I open the deck and look what I have. Eight of Cups and the Three of Swords. Yeah, a painful departure. Can we get some insight, please, into this other person that Leo is, has or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this other person? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Leo? What do we need to know? Oh my God, the tower. Okay, let me just clear the board here so we can actually, what else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know? Knight of Cups, yeah. This is very clear energy from this person. I think that they just want to apologize. And Eight of Pentacles is here, so they want to prove to you something or work hard or, you know, put an effort, energy into this. Um, and there's the world. So a new start, a new beginning, ending a cycle to start a new one. Very clear energy. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? The sun? Why is the tower here? I think this is a revelation. I think this person is going to reveal something big to you. Seven of wands. And I don't think you're going to be right. I don't think, I don't know. They're thinking that it's going to be really hard to do this. Like, they have to win you over in some way. Yeah, there's the lovers, Gemini energy. With the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, it's almost like they might be fighting for this connection. Fighting for you, not giving up like they said here. But I, I sense some resistance, and I think it might be on your end here. Where you're just kind of like, eh, 
I'm not sure. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Now this could just be them telling you how they feel. It doesn't necessarily have to be an apology, but I think for a lot of you it is. Tell me about the Knight of Cups for Leo. Death, Scorpio energy. Death shows up again. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Ace of Swords. Oh yeah, they're gonna talk about what's what happened. I think they wanna apologize for what happened. And the Knight of Pentacles. With the Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this person, there's a strong connection that they feel, but I feel like there was an unhealthy attachment here that interrupted things, affected things. Because I sense that this person was like separated from you. There's the Ace of Pentacles. I'm gonna put that there because I think this is what they're bringing. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The Hangman seeing things from a different point of view and there's the eight of cups that fell out i'm going to put it back because that was a sloppy shuffle but tell me about the eight of pentacles the king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy someone very motivated someone fearless bold tell me about the eight of pentacles and yeah the king of cups shows up again with judgment this is very clear energy leo um i feel like i don't even need to keep clarifying because it's just very obvious what this is. Oops. I think I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. Yeah. Can we get some more insight on this person? Can we get some insight on this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with? Can we get some insight? Everything reminds me of you. What else? This is from my stellar soulmate deck. All my decks are listed in the description box and also you can find them on my website. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. Oh yeah. Everything reminds me of you. When I miss you, I look at photos of you. They miss you, they really do. And I think you're all they, that, that they can think about. But again, I feel like they're revealing something to you that you have to decide what to do with. So whatever they come to you with, whatever revelation of these hidden feelings, whatever they reveal to you, you're going to have to decide what to do about that. And it's, it's going to be up to you, not, not really them, what happens next. Okay, so where is all of this headed? Let's use the other deck. Where is all of this headed for Leo Spirit? What can Leo expect in the near future? What can Leo expect in the near future? What can Leo expect in the near future? What can Leo expect? Page of Swords, so yeah, there's definitely communication happening here. The Fool and the Knight of Wands. So you can expect this person to come forward, Leo, with a message. There's the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This would not be a Leo reading without Aries showing up at some point. <laughs> um, I think that this is someone that's going to reach out. Tell me about this Page of Swords. Tell me about this Page of Swords. What do we need to know? about this page of swords the hierophant taurus energy tell me about this page of swords two of cups oh yeah i love you i want to commit to you you are everything that i'm looking for you're my soulmate etc etc tell me about the knight of wands tell me about the knight of wands the chariot cancer energy oh yeah they're coming forward quickly six of wands and what's this four of wands oh yeah very clear energy i mean when it comes to them there's very clear energy here now some of you this could be somebody that's perhaps with this unhealthy attachment and peer seduction maybe they're into you a little bit too much maybe they're coming on a little bit too strong uh, maybe this is somebody that has some 
issues they need to sort through. Um, or maybe they need to do some inner child healing or some self-care, some counseling or something like that. Because I feel like maybe they have an addiction. Um, but I feel like whatever the situation is, I think they're trying to move past that. I think they're trying to make better decisions and somehow they feel like you are the answer. You are like the hope that they have for something new here. Now the Fool, the Knight of Wands, I almost feel like this person might not be thinking about things without like taking that risk or that leap of faith, you know? It's like they just, they're so desperate to make a move or they're just so motivated by what they want to do that they don't really think about it before they do it. So this person might, I don't know, be their worst enemy in a way. If this is resonating for you, by the way, Leo, let me know in the comments. I love hearing from you all. Tell me about the hero. The hero. Well, yeah, it's the, the hero in this deck is the fool. Tell me about the fool. Tell me about the fool. The world. Oh, yeah, this is such clear energy. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Two of wands and the king of swords. Um, judgment, again, at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I feel like this person just wants to talk. They want a chance. Just give me a chance is what I'm hearing. Just give me a chance to prove myself to you, Leo. Just give me a chance. And again, I feel like it's going to be completely up to you. But they're coming in quickly and they're coming in with a purpose. And it's almost like, for whatever reason, they don't have access to you. So all they can do is miss you and kind of like feel sorry for themselves. You know, let me get some advice. Spirit, any guidance messages for Leo? Any guidances, guidances, guidance or messages? I don't know what's going on today that I just can't talk. Any guidance for my Leos? What does it? What do they need to know, Spirit? What advice or guidance do you have for Leo? Be careful, number 27. What's at the bottom of the deck? You are on the right path, number seven. Interesting. So listen to your intuition here. Um, be careful. Listen to your heart. You know this person more than me, Leo. You know what you can accept, what you can forgive, etc., etc. Uh, so that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if this resonated for you. If you enjoyed the reading or you like how I read, then please consider liking and subscribing so you can see more content from me. That really helps me out a lot and it's just a free way of showing support. Thank you so much to everyone who takes the time to do that. I really appreciate it and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.